Hello, good evening, Jose Mario. Hola, hola, good evening. How are you doing? Ahí. <laughs> Algo apurado que acabo de venir de trabajar. Okay, Pero okay, bien. it's fine. It's fine, don't worry. But it's, oh, it's Monday, so I think that today was busy for you? Yes. What happened? Uh, you got a lot of things to do or because of the traffic? Uh, the same. And traffic and a lot of things to do in the job. I see. Yeah, most of the times it's uh well I hate Mondays because of that. I hate it because uh because it's the start of the week. So you're like, I oh, this I just came back from from your weekend and everything, but the traffic is terrible. Also, I love Fridays, but I hate going out because of the traffic because everybody I don't know why there is so much traffic on Mondays and Fridays, but not in the other days. So I'm yes. still kind of confused with that. Yeah. It's Good like night, the Selena. Same. Yeah, exactly. But I don't know the reason why, being honest with you. It depends, yes. I guess. Well, if if you're in San Salvador, I think that the traffic is worse. But <laughs> here, imagine in Santa Ana, is yeah, it's worse too. It is the worst thing ever. I hate traffic. I hate driving for because of that. Yes, I a co-worker living in Santa Ana and in... the oh, no sé cómo decirlo como el viaje dura alrededor de dos horas y media más o menos. Yeah, the road or the trip is around two hours and a half. Yeah, actually, um, I have classes on the university and I have I have the class at seven a.m. and I leave let's say in the exit of Santa Ana. So here. From the exit, I do like two minutes. So I don't have to go over the whole city, right? But right. when I uh, when I have classes in the university at seven, I have to leave at my house at four, 4 a.m. If oh, no, yeah. I'm not able to, I cannot make it. If it, It's impossible because the traffic is, is terrible and I destroy my leg because my car is standard. So I, mm -hmm. I kill my leg with that, with the traffic, it's terrible. So, I leave my house at four and I arrive to the university at five. So over there, I go to the gym and do things right in San Salvador, but I do one hour. But if I leave 4.15, I, I don't make it. I I arrive I arrive around 6.45. It's terrible. 15 minutes can make the difference. If you want to go by Los Chorros in the afternoon when you are, let's say I used to work in the office gurus, and that is near a next it, right? It's um it's near from uh the street that takes you to Puerto de la Libertad, I guess. So I used to leave my work at 4 30 and I was here around eight. Yes, uh, right now I live in Lourdes. No, uh -huh, Lourdes and I know mm -hmm. <laughs> I know the traffic. Horrible. Oh my God, is that that sound? Oh, that, that <laughs> sound, it's it's worse. However, I have a friend that lives in Los Planes de Renderos, for example, and she says that is also terrible. Dicen de que yes. de Los Planes para acá se hacen como dos horas. Bueno, de Los Planes, para mi universidad, ellos hacen como dos horas. Y en Los Planes, yo diría como, ah, no es muy grande, pues, pero yeah, there is actually. So, Selena, Otto, good evening, guys. Nice to see you back here. ¿Cómo estamos? ¿Qué tal su lunes? Bien. Cansado. Oh, good evening. How was your, your Monday? Tired. Tired? Busy? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. But you have, no, pretty... you have weekends off or which day is your day off? Uh, my day's off for Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday. Oh, so yesterday was your Monday, let's say. Today is the second day for you. Good. All right. Yeah, but Monday is also horrible, guys. Bien, chiquillos, voy a empezarles a compartir pantalla. Ya vi que alguna de tus compañeros van a entrar tarde. So, I'm going to move on. All right. So, um, guys, welcome back. Today, we started our last week together. It's the fourth. We are going to start a section number five or the unit number five. 
And the name is, tell me about your family. So we will be talking the whole thing about family. Um, Most of the times, guys, I don't like this kind of topics because we are very like, um, well, we like our things to keep it private. So I'm going to introduce also topics like famous families that you know. How would you like to, if you have no children or something, if would, you would like to make a family, because the topics that we were going to see are the present continuous, uh, some conversations, and we're going to have a review of the quantifiers. So basically, we don't have a lot of things to do, guys. Okay, another thing that I really wanted to tell you is that on, well, on Thursday, which is our last day together, as I told you, I'm going to make an exam. I'm going to make a one-on-one -on -one exam. Uh, using all the topics. Yeah, I say your face, Jose Mario. Yes, I'm going to make it. And um, also, you will have to prepare a feedback two to three minutes full in English about your experience during this model. Okay, so that is what we are going to do during the week. So guys, right now, I'm going to move on and do what we always do, is start with conversation. Tomorrow, we will work on grammar and we will be doing like that. You already know the, the I forgot the word. Se me fue la palabra. La, la, uh, the dynamic, sorry. You already know the dynamic, right? So let's go ahead, guys, and move on. And let's start talking about your family. So who from here has children? Children? No, Jose Mario. Otto, you have children? How many do you have? One. One? Okay. A girl or a boy? It's a boy. It's a boy. What's his name? Well, his name is Axel. Axel? Good. Axel. Yeah. Axel. Okay, nice. Very good. Jose Mario? No children? No children right now. Okay. So any of you is uh Selena? I don't know if she can speak. All right, but Guys, ¿alguien de aquí está casado? Yes. Who's married? Selena, Selena is married. Yes. Happily married? Um, Felizmente casado? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, <laughs> oh, you see that. I have a daughter, actually. She is six years old. Her name is Brownie. It's my chihuahua. <laughs> She's the only daughter that I have right now. Okay. But, but I love her. She's she's my everything. She she's the same as me. She's the same dramatic as me. So guys, uh, there are some vocabulary here that I know that you already know it. However, we are going to make the conversation. So I will ask Selena and Jose Mario if you can help me uh reading. Rita, you are Selena and Jose Mario, you are Sue. So we, we can make it guys, please. Okay. Okay, teacher. Empezamos con José Mario. Uh, we start with you. You are Rita. So let's go, Selena. Just start. Okay. Um, tell me about your brother and sister. Sue. Uh, well, my sister works from government. Oh, what does she do? I am not sure. She is working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He is a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh, no. My sister's away. She is not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He is traveling in the Amazon. Thank you, Jose Mario. You're welcome. Good. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much. A pretty good conversation, right? So the conversation, basically, guys, is about their jobs a little bit, I guess, and what their families do, right? So, do you have any question regarding the vocabulary here in the conversation? No? 
questions con el vocabulario? Okay, la palabra, guys. teacher, teacher. ¿Sí? Um, la palabra eh, will, will, will life. Wildlife. 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 Permitíme, vamos a buscar porque es un fotógrafo, right? Uh -huh. Ok, eh, sería un fotógrafo de fauna silvestre o como de la naturaleza, le diría yo. Es el tipo de fotógrafo, de fotógrafo especializado en eso. Ah, ok. All right. Vicky, Sandra, Alfred, if you can let me know if you can speak or no, I will really appreciate it. Ok, si pueden hablar o no, por fin, para que me hagan saber. Bien, chicos. Entonces, eh, ahora I want to know. Uh, any other question, by the way? No? Good? With everything? Okay. So, guys, what can you tell me about your family? Uh -huh. Yeah, tell me. ¿Quién me puede hablar de, de su familia? ¿Alguien de su familia? Voy a intentarlo decir en inglés. Okay, good. <laughs> My family is um, uh, is little. Um, uh -huh. uh, I have uh, three sisters. Um, I have uh, a son. A son says uh, a son. Me. Yeah, a son. A son. Um, Okay. Um, my parents. Um, okay, my parents. Uh, I have my mother and my father. A uh, live. Okay, pretty good. Live. Thank you. Awesome. Live. So, okay. guys, you. what about the others? Otto, Jose Mario, Alfred. Who can, what can you tell me about your family or the people that you can you consider as a family actually? Well, my family is from Chalatenango. I'm from Chalatenango as well. So, well, they're still living there. I have three siblings. Mm -hmm. Um. To what else? I don't know. Okay, good. So you have, have three siblings. Okay. Yeah. Three siblings. Okay, good. And where uh, where is your family from? I didn't hear that. Sorry. My family is from Chalatenango. Oh, from Chalate. Good. Oh my gosh, the weather there. It's amazing. Ah, el clima. Familia. Okay, good. What about Alfred or Jose Mario? That I have two brothers. The one is older than me, mm -hmm. and the other is younger than me. And my mom, only four persons, yes, four uh, in my family. And I, I don't know what that's it. Amazing. So it's a short family. Thank you. I would love to have that, guys, actually. You see. My dad is from San Salvador. He's from Mer Ciudad Merliot. And he has five brothers and sisters. So there are six in total. So I have six aunts and uncles from there. And my mom is from here. And she has three, three siblings. So I have a big family, guys. My family is so big. It's terrible. It's, it's uh, terrible. Because when I have when I make parties or things, I have to invite everyone, right? So we have a lot of cousins and people. So for my 15th birthday party, I had to invite around 300 people because we had a lot of family and friends and friends that you consider as a family too, right? So I used to make the list and they were like, okay, four, four, five, six, eight, two, five, five, and I was like that. And when I count everybody, it was like 300 people. And I realized that I have a lot of family. So on that point, it's very, very 
difficult because you spend a lot of money. Imagine in my wedding, if I got married one day, how it's going to be? It's going to be terrible because I have the, my family and I'm going to have the family from the other one. So I hope that the other one will have a short family porque si no me va a salir un ojo de la cara. Permítame, chicos, que se me subió un animal y no sé qué es. Oh my gosh, bien, no sé qué se me subió, chicos, perdón, pero yo le tengo pavor a los insectos y yo creo que algo así se me subió. Ok, so, chicos, that is about us. So I want to ask you, that is about the fam our families, right? But you know that you have a lot of more families. Do you know any family that is, that is, uh, that is famous? A famous family. Familias famosas, que ustedes conozcan que como familias son famosas. I don't know, las Kardashians. The Kardashians, good. Well, who else? Mm -hmm. ¿Quién más? Famous family, guys. Ah, no me digan que no quieren hablar. No me digan que no quieren hablar. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, so if you don't know about families, that's what you're going to do right now. I'm going to, to give you one family from each of you. And you're going to prepare a presentation about what is the, why uh, that family is considered famous. What the uh, what they did, okay, in the past, if that was in the past, or what are they doing right now to be famous as a whole family, okay? That's what I'm going to do. So, permítanme un segundo, voy a ponerles aquí los nombres. Okay, so who wants to be the first one? ¿Quién quiere que la asigne primero? Ay, no. Hoy sí. Miren, si hoy no me hablan, niños, por Dios santo, It's es la boy. última semana que tienen conmigo. Aguántenme una semana más. ¿Qué les cuesta? Y a la otra semana empiezan con otra persona. O sea, esas son de mí. So, ok. So, Otto, for you is going to be the familia Girola. Girola's family, ok. Selena is going to have uh, the Trump family, la familia de Trump, the Donald Trump. La familia de quién? The Donald Trump. Oh, um, okay. Good. Vicky is going to have the Kennedys, la familia Kennedy. Patty is going to have the Kardashians family. Okay, wait a second, please. Permítanme, chicos. ¿Cuál okay. acaba de decir, teacher? Perdón. Eh, dije la de los Kennedy y a Patty le dije la de los Kardashians. All right. So, ¿quiénes me faltan? Alfred. Yeah. And, okay, good. So, for you, Alfred, I'm going to give you the... Let me see here. Okay, the Walton family. Okay, ¿quién más me falta? Yo. Okay. So, for you, uh, wait a second. Permítanme. Okay. Permítanme, chicos, que se me está trabajando la compu. Que no me acuerdo cómo se llama esa familia. Okay. From you is going to be the Kim Dynasty. You know them? Los Kim Dynasty son la familia, la dinastía de la familia Kim. 
que son lo, el dictador de Corea del Norte. Ok. So okay. everybody has, has yours, right? One? Yeah, everybody, todos tienen uno. Ok, guys. Yes. Ok, so guys, you're going to have five minutes and it's going to be a presentation for one minute. You have to tell me why they are famous. Their history or whatever you want, pero me tiene que decir en sí por qué son conocidos y famosos. Ok, so you have, yeah, I'm going to give you three minutes to get ready. Yeah, so let's go. All right, guys, time, time is up. So I'm going to give you, uh, I'm going to choose, okay? The first one I gave was Otto, right? So Otto, you're going to start. Uh, okay. So uh, I'm gonna tell you some, something about the girl's family, so well. Uh, the history of the Girolas family in El Salvador began in, in the 90th century with Rafael Maria Girola, who was originally from Santander, Spain. So he arrived in Centro America seeking the fortune that was denied him in his native land, native country. So for four years, the Guerrilla's family has been the center of myths 
unfounded his unfounded his stories stories and linked to supernatural sub, supernatural events. Uh, well, what else? So it's planning in the collective imagination. Um, well, from generation to generation. However, the uh, it's a very weird word here. Uh, however, the illustrious family mark, marked uh, before and after in this, the recent reality of El Salvador. Both uh, in culture, in, in culture, culture, and economic ways, architectural, political, and social aspects. Mm -hmm. Okay. So well, that's it. Okay, good. Okay. Thank you. That's a pretty good job. I know that you will write everything, right? And you weren't, you wasn't reading. Of course, right? Yes, yeah, a pretty good job, actually. I'm ready. Uh, I was reading. Yeah, uh huh. <laughs> so, guys, uh, Girola's family is pretty famous, right? Here in El Salvador. I think that is one of the most famous. Chiquillos, para los que no veo en las cámaras, no sé por qué no los veo en cámaras. Primer aviso. Okay. So, yeah, actually, Girola's family is pretty famous. Uh, their history, I think that is a little bit weird and, and I would say creepy, right? But it's pretty famous. It's pretty famous and I really like it. So thank you, Otto. Yeah, actually, you know, with I, I think that I told you that we that I studied tourism, right? As uh, my specialization in my career. So we went actually to the tour to the to the house, and there is a room that you cannot get into. Hay una hay un, un cuarto que no puedes entrar. Y supuestamente ese cuarto es donde tenían una bestia, y supuestamente esa bestia era una combinación de un hijo de lo Quirola y de el diablo creo el demonio algo así so yeah but it was amazing it, esto es super chido I really like it yeah good Otto thank you so Otto please choose a victim whoever you want let me see let me see I go with Jose Mario Fernandez I think that they have that you have a, a special bond in guys because you are friends from other side, I guess. Because you always pick him and he always picks you, and you are like, I'm going to work with Jose Mario, and he does the same to you. So are you friends from other side? Or are you cousins? Co-workers. Co-workers, same area, same everything. Uh, I start in the same Different area. love. Different <laughs> love in the same account. Ah, okay, okay. Same tra uh, same traumas? You both have the same traumas in the same account? Comparten traumas? Yeah. 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 Good. What is your account? Sorry, by the way. Sorry for being a teacher. Uh, it's, a, it's a new account in Web Hell. The name is Flyhub. It's a trial like me. Oh, yeah, I know, I know, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> good. <laughs> okay, so Jose Mario, it's your turn, please. Uh, no sé si encontré la... The right family. Mm -hmm. But it's the only... <laughs> I try. Uh, after my research and the history is about a very... Uh, what do you say? Well, it's about uh, a lot of generations, like uh, it's a it's a Asian Iran three thousand three thousand two hundred BC. I don't know what it is. And I don't know. <laughs> no lo sé si es la, la que se me ha indicado, pero es que solo eso puede encontrar. Okay, guys, that family is famous because they are the dictator. I don't know how to say dictadores, but they are the dictadores from North, no, uh, North Korea. 
So la familia es una dynasty because during the years and the decades, todos los de la familia han tenido el poder de Corea. Y por lo general, toda la familia, all the family is in the power, actually. They are in the government and everything. So it's the same as, you know, la dinastía Menendez Quiñones from here. So they are kind of like the same, right? So that is going to be a homework for you. Okay, you have to, you have to get them. Good, Jose Maria, choose a person, please. You have Selena, Patty, and Alfred. Porque los demás no les había asignado. Mm, Alfred. Alfred, let's go. El que está bien callado y eso me extraña que esté tan callado ahora. <laughs> Um, a mí me tocó más que toda la familia Walton. Uh, curioso lo que voy a decir porque trabajo para ellos directamente. Oh, wow, amazing. Okay, let's go. Uh, this is a. Well, I was reading uh, that this family is, uh, is kind of a huge family. Uh, they actually uh, get married back in 1940, if I'm not mistaken. Um, also, um, of, also, uh, is, uh, uh, they actually, after they get, they got married, uh, back on 1940s, um, the Mr. Uh, Walton, uh, got, in, got involved in the military, uh, service. And then uh, he got retired for that. That's, I don't know exactly, on 1960. Uh, then uh, he was actually uh, having in mind to, uh, to have a business back on 1962. Uh, they opened the first, uh, the, first, the first Walmart store. There was actually in Texas. I don't remember exactly the location, but it was in Texas in 1962. So they are actually, they, they were very fam famous at that moment because it was the first um, huge store that, that, were, that were open at that moment. And uh, now they have around, well, the money that they have in their bank is more like, it, it is the amount of uh, 9,000 millions. I, I, don't, I don't really know exactly the amounts that they have, but they have a lot of money, actually. They, had a, they have a lot of money. They, they have, actually, the Walmart uh, stores. Uh, they manage them. But also, they have, like, another uh, business, uh, which is called Sam's Club, which is, the, which is the, the, the business I am working at this moment. I am working from Sam's Club, Walmart. I don't know my... I don't know. I don't know what else can I say. <laughs> Sorry, I muted. it. Pretty good. I like it, actually. Yeah, um, they are famous because they are, it's supposed that they are the richest family at, right now. Because they have, well, Walmart is, have you ever seen Wally, -E, the movie? Wally? -E? Do you remember the, the letters, by and large, B and L, which was for everything? You remember? So it's supposed and people says that in the future, the, that family and Walmart is going to be for everything. Walmart and Amazon together, they're going to be mixed up and built in, both families too, and everything is going to be from that brand. Uh, is, we will have like a B and large, but in our, in our world, right? Yeah, for the future, that is what it's supposed to be. Okay, Alfred, pretty good, thank you. Uh, you have Patty and Selena, so which one? Sorry, Patty. Patty, okay, Patty, let's go. Okay, um, talking about the Kardashians, um, the Kardashians began when the mother, Chris, married with Robert Kardashian, who at the time was a uh, O.J. Simpson lawyer. Um, since he uh, to get him to free, and from there began 
um, to fame and the family. Uh, the marriage had four children, Courtney, Kim, Claude, and Rob. And Kim got friends with Paris Hilton. And uh, their fame began when they start keeping up with the Kardashian. Uh, they have been related their personalities, um, such as Ken West, Tristan Thompson, and the others. And it is the family of many scandal for me. <laughs> That's it. <erotic>. Amazing, amazing, <laughs> good, amazing. Thank you. Yeah. I know a lot about the family. I know about them because I used to watch a series and I'm still watching them. The reality is pretty good, right? But uh, you know the case of OJ Simpson, right? And that is a pretty famous case in the 90s, I guess. Uh, and Robert Kardashian, he was a lawyer. He died and, she, and Kris Jenner became, um, oh my gosh, I forgot his name. But when I thought that said Caitlyn Jenner, he, oh, he was Bruce Jenner, right? So they became together and the family became famous because Kim Kardashian released a video, an adult video, and they created a reality from that. And right now they are one of the most important families. All the girls are pretty famous, actually. I would not say anything about Rob because he's not famous as the girls, but yes, right? They are so, so famous. They are, they have billion dollars. Actually, Kylie Jenner, which is one member from the family. She became the, fir the first uh, teenager uh, that was billionaire. Yeah. So she she did that story. And Kim Kardashian is pretty famous too. Okay, pretty good. So let's finish with Selena right now, please. Okay, teacher. Um, uh, Donald Trump's father is called uh, Frank Trump, a real estate man magnate who had five children include including the famous former president of the United States uh, the age uh, crocus three Trump uh, made a uh, two hundred millions a year and today's money. Uh, when he was um, seventeen years old, his father have a uh, him part partial of ownership of um a fifty two apartment building. Short, shortly after Trump graduated from college, he received, received the equivalent of one million dollars a year from his father. Donald Trump uh, is an American businessman, television personality, and, converse, and conservate politician, politician uh, who served as the uh, 45 president of the United States of America from January 20, uh, 2050, no, seven, 17 to January 20, 20, 20, 20 21 finished it amazing thank you Serena pretty good yeah their family is famous guys because of their business right uh obviously he became famous because he was a president of the United States but uh he first of all was pretty famous for their business and the family everybody is involved in the business actually and they have the characteristic that they have a lot of money in Wall Street right and also de Valores but they don't do it as a family because they have to pay too much taxes. So what they do is they do it individually and as a family, they own a lot from that. So good guys, thank you. Bien, 
Para los que no habían entrado, ya estábamos hablando de familias famosas porque el tema de la semana es de families. So I'm going to share back the screen with you and we are going to move on with the, first, with the next activity. All right? So guys, acá pueden ver de que hay dos preguntas. Which are, uh, what are the two questions? Uh -huh. Solo uno. No se peleen por, por leerlas. Where do Rita's parents live? What do they do? Thank you. So where do Rita's parents live and what do they do? Amazing. We just write a conversation and we know the answers. Guys, el día de mañana voy a trabajar con ustedes grammar. So for tomorrow, we will have the present continue. So get ready for that. Okay. Y el día, bueno, mañana vamos a tener eso y vamos a tener los quantifiers, I guess. If not, we are going to make them on Wednesday. But tomorrow we will have that. So right now we have this one, which is another conversation regarding you, when you come from a big family. What do we know about the big families, guys? Uh, are you from a big family? Who has a big family? Big family? Familia Grandota? Alfred? Okay. Good. So, guys, have you ever think or have you ever said the phrase, me hubiera gustado nacer en esta familia, o me hubiera gustado que tal persona fuera mi papá o mi mamá, o lo famoso que decimos de yo quisiera reencarnar en tal persona para tener dinero. Have you ever think about or said that? ¿Ya se les ha cruzado por la mente? Ok. Todo, todos los días. Every day, right? ¿En quién no, le gustaría teacher. reencarnar? En Cristiano Ronaldo. En Cristiano Ronaldo. ¿En quién más? <risa> ¿En quién le gustaría reencarnar, Alfred? ¿En which one? Por ejemplo, en la, en la familia de los... De esos de la familia Walton, uno de los hijos. Uno de los... Yeah, Walton, right? You know, do you know Stormy? Kyle is Jenner's daughter. Es una niña de creo que cuatro años. Esa niña tiene más dinero del que nosotros vamos a hacer juntos por toda nuestra vida. I would love to be her. Yeah, yo quisiera reencarnar en ella, actually. O sea, a mí me gustaría reencarnar en una fruta o en algo así, como no tener preocupaciones de mi vida, right? Just be it and that's it. Pero se la van a comer y va a desaparecer. Uh, that, is not a, that is not an issue. <laughs> That is not an issue. Podría reencarnar en frutas de estación todos los años. <laughs> ok. ¿A quién más le gustaría reencarnar? Cindy. Ya no quiero reencarnar. <laughs> eh, no, ahí está ya. <laughs> ok. Eh, todos tienen su punto de vista. Ok. ¿Patty? Tampoco. ¿José Mario? Eh, no sé, en alguien que, alguna familia de Dubai, supongo. In a Dubai family, right? From, uh, from Emirates and the, that kind of people? Yes. Yeah. Otto, what about you? Well, this life is enough for me. <laughs> But, well, if I had to choose... Uh, maybe podría reencargar en una higo, una águila. ¿En, un, ¿En una? Águila. ¿En Eagle. una águila? Oh, en a thing. Ok, good. En Selena, what about you? Yeah, I thought, that, I thought that answer actually. I thought that he was going to say el hijo de Luis Miguel o, o Luis Miguel en sí, right? Good. Lo iba a decir, pero era el... Okay. Okay. Selena? No, no, teacher. Soy feliz así como estoy. Oh, she's happy. <laughs> okay, guys, good. So this is a conversation that we will practice for tomorrow. But here in the conversations, there are some questions, right? How many brothers and sisters do you have? Actually, I'm only a child. I'm an only child. Most families in China have one child nowadays. Uh, Marcos is from a big family, three brothers, and a lot of people, right? So guys, have you ever think if you would prefer having a big family or a small family? Have you ever think about that? 
I think that it would be easier to have a shared family, but sometimes I love having a lot of people near, near me, sometimes. And have you ever had the situation that you can call a family, a friend? Do you think of this friend and you said, I feel this person like if it is my family? ¿Ya les ha pasado que tienen algún amigo que ustedes dicen es mi familia? ¿O que se siente como familia? So we will have that and we will discuss that, okay? So guys, vamos a hacer una activity que es una creative activity. Solo es una actividad, les digo por qué, solo es una actividad porque no quiero que vaya en contra de sus creencias ni nada. Solamente es una actividad divertida que lo va a despertar y lo va a hacer pensar. Can you tell me the members from a family? Por lo general, digamos los generales. ¿Qué, ¿De qué se conforma una familia para la sociedad? ¿Qué tiene? Father. Father. Mother. Mother. Sister. Sister. Uh -huh. Brothers. Brother. Brothers. Brothers. So. Who? Grandmother. Grandmother. Grandfather. Grandfather. Cousins, uncles, uncles, nephew, aunts, who? Nephew. I cannot hear you, Patty. Sorry. Sobrino. Nephew. Oh, nephews. Nephews. Children. Children. Amazing. ¿Qué más en la familia? Oh, pets, right? Porque los animales ya son parte de nuestra familia, right? So pets. So guys. That is basically what a usual family, let's say. So, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Los voy a poner en parejas y les voy a dar chance de que se pongan a trabajar. Una familia por lo general se conforma de father, mother, sister, brother, grandmother, grandparent, cousins, uncles, aunts, nephews, children, and pets. That is usually, right? Claramente es la familia estándar que dice la sociedad. So, we will work with that. Con su pareja, van a crear un árbol genealógico, pero no lo van a crear de su familia, sino que van a ser una mezcolanza de todas las personas famosas que les gustaría que fueran su familia. Ok, si por ejemplo, you can say, yo quiero que mi papá sea Chayanne, entonces van a poner a Chayanne como su papá, y yo quiero que el burro de Shrek sea mi hermano, ok, so I'm going to make him. Ok, van a ser un mix de todas las personas que les gustaría conformando cada uno de esos lugares. ¿Sí? ¿Y por qué en pareja? Para que sea más fácil para ustedes. You got the activity? ¿Se entiende la actividad? Ok. So you will include, guys. Anoten, por favor. Father, mother, sister, and brother. Ok. Grandmother and, grandfa and grandfather. Van a ser dos pares, ¿verdad? Los maternos y los paternos. Ya sabemos. Van a ponerme al menos three cousins, two uncles, y two aunts. Nephews, me van a poner al menos tres, ¿ok? Tres nephews. Children, si ustedes quieren ponerme diez, pónganme diez. It's no, it's fine. And you can do also a pet. Si ustedes quieren decirme, mira, teacher, mi mascota va a ser Stitch, it's fine. You can do it. Lo pueden hacer, ¿sí? ¿Se comprende la activity, chicos? ¿Pero es en pareja o individual? En pareja. Un árbol por pareja. ¿Sí? ¿Ustedes eligen con quién trabajar o los pongo yo? ¿I pick? Ok. So. Bien, obviamente yo sé que puede ser que no lo terminen porque me lo van a presentar como un árbol genealógico, right? But you will have to think a lot. Ok, so vamos a poner a los dos que son mejores amigos juntos. So it's going to be Otto y José Mario. Miren las caras de emoción de los dos, de que están juntos. Pretty good. Ay, permítanme. Uy, permítanme, permítanme. Que los, los puse mal, permítanme. Voy a cerrar las alas, perdón. Ya los iba a mandar a otra sala. Ok, 
So number two, I'm going to give Ale and Alfred. Okay? Ya los hice a trabajar juntos y trabajan nice. Okay, so Ale and Alfred, uh, and I will put, okay, I have three. So Selena, Cindy, and Patty are going to be a trio. Okay, llevan ventaja porque son un trio. Okay, so guys, let's start working on the activity. And if you have any questions, you can let me know. Okay, si no la ter bueno, para mañana, la tienen que presentar, pero ahorita tienen 10 minutos para avanzar. Questions with activity? Okay, can be famous people, like realistic people, or it can be characters. Ok, si quieren que, I don't know, que tu mamá sea la cenicienta y tu papá va a ser la roca, it's fine. O si pueden ser personajes de películas como que, I want Toretto as my brother, it's fine. Ok, and the thing is that you have to create a last name for your family. Tienen que crear un apellido para su familia. De toda la mezcolanza que van a hacer, tienen que crear un apellido. Y you're going to say, we are the family tal. Ok, and you present your tree as you did in the kindergarten. ¿Se acuerdan que en el kinder ustedes hacían el arbolito literalmente? So you will do that. ¿Ok? Entonces, chicos, vamos a irnos ahorita a empezar a trabajar y cualquier cosita uh, ya me voy a meter con ustedes. No, uh, silence. Oh, si la teacher no silence. Silence. English. First of all, English. Teacher, please. Um, eh, share eh, pantalla in English. <laughs> oh, of course. Can I? Can you share? Uh, can you give us the chance to share the screen? Screen. Uh -huh. Screen. Okay. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Yes, English, I wanna hear you. My friends. Um, ah, good, good. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna start? Yes. Please. What is your dad? Luis, <laughs> oh, you see. Yes. And your mother? Paquita, la del barrio. Paquita la del barrio. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, bah. Okay. Or father. It has to be the same for you too, guys. Remember, you are brothers in this case, right? Yes. Luis. Good. Miguel. <laughs> okay. Fair. ¿Cómo vamos, chiquillos? Recogiendo a la mamá. Recogiendo a la mamá. Recuerden, in this case, you are brother and sister, right? Son hermanitos ustedes dos cuando se presenten, right? So be creative, guys. Seamos creativos. Creative. No sé quién. ¿Quién es su papá? Do you think already your father? No, estamos todavía con eso. Okay, okay, let's go, guys. Keep working. Um, father. Father. Um, guys, remember, Loreto. girls, girls, just to remember. Acuérdense de que ustedes en este caso son hermanas. Que ¿okay? ustedes tres son hermanitas cuando se vayan a presentar. Ah, uh, ok. Que okay, son sí. hermanitas. So just for let you know, sí. ahí. Y el nombre no se les olvide. Tienen que create an, a creative uh, last name. Good. So, Excuse no van a terminar, me. chicas, pero pónganse de acuerdo. Compártanse los números de teléfono ahorita. Aprovechen. Porque mañana sí me lo tienen que presentar. Ok. Ok. Lore, Patricia, Cindy. And the grandfather is Chente. Uh -huh. Vicente Fernandez. So they will be the Kim Kardashian's parents. <laughs> Guys, I already know that you know that you're not going to finish right now, right? However, remember that you can share your numbers, but you have to present that tomorrow. Okay, good. Thank you. Advice.
me estaba ahogando. <risa> ¿Sabes, teacher, de que, ¿Sabes, teacher, de que por, este, ahorita sentí que mi vida... Yo iba a desaparecer de mi vida, de hecho. ¿Por qué? Me dio un gran miedo, de hecho, cuando entré a la, a la, a la sala con, con Alejandra. ¿Por Normalmente cuando una mujer le va a decir algo es como que se pone bien seria, ¿verdad? Y uno de hombre es como que amo mi vida, o sea, no sé qué hice. Exacto. Y, ajá, entonces, y me dice, mire, me dice, le voy a decir algo, pero bien seria, le voy a decir algo, me dice. Y yo todavía sigo como, ¿qué Ni hice? Ni lo saludé, yo no le dije. ¿Qué? Okay. Y yo, ¿qué pasó en mi mente? Yo, yo no dije nada, de hecho, yo como que así, esperando que me dijera algo, esperando que me viniera a buscar y a sacar de mi casa. Me di y me dice, mire, me dice, a mí no me gusta trabajar con usted porque usted mucho puede, yo. O sea, me lo dijo bien serio. No, no, sea, no sea mentiroso, le dije, me da miedo trabajar con usted, le dije. Ay, me da miedo, ok. Porque Ay, usted no. puede hablar y yo no le dije. So you felt like, yeah, you felt nervous. And you were scared because you thought that you didn't do anything. I'm going to give you a thing. We always have the reason and we are right. But the, the boys... Ellos, ustedes siempre van a haber hecho algo. Siempre van a haber hecho algo. <risa> always. I mean, always. It's your fault because you know a lot, right? Es tu culpa de saber bastante, pero es tu culpa. That is the thing. <risa> es que yo le dije, me da miedo trabajar con usted. Porque usted habla, o sea, usted puede hablar bastante. Y yo todavía no entiendo. Entonces... Por eso, pero es que Pobrecito, lo que me dio él cree que, que lo vas a matar o algo así, ¿verdad? Right? Ni lo él saludé. Cree que le vas a hacer daño y no. Oh, Solo entró a la sala y fue como que tengo que hablar con usted, tengo que decirle. No, pero bien seria, o sea, bien seria, como le digo, o sea, uno obviamente, por muy machista que sea, quiera o no, pero si una mujer se le para enfrente y le va a decir, mira, te voy a decir algo, como que I'm scared. So, no, sé, yeah. no sé qué me va a decir. ¿no? Entonces, that is true. Me sí. Yeah, that is true, right? Good. Okay, so guys, keep working. I know that you're not going to finish. So share your numbers and get ready for tomorrow, right? Because tomorrow you have to present it as if you were in kindergarten. Como que estuvieran en el kinder, el arbolito dibujadito y todo bonito. Okay? So get ready, guys. Thank you. Yes, Julia Roberts. Bye. Y aquí, my father is um ver? father um toreto sí bien dios él yes. bien dijo ah no father hay, hay un señor canoso no sé cómo se llama espérenme richard G. ese señor <risa> okay chicas prepárense para mañana sí Prepare, compartir los números and you get ready because you are sisters, right? So good. Okay, chicos, good. I escuché, I heard some things, right? I heard fights, escuché peleas de hermanos, escuché aquí que había un, un canoso que iban a usar. So I heard a lot of things, literally. Escuché bastantes cosas y escuché bastantes ideas. So I really like it. Okay, chicos, bien, entonces, para el día de mañana, as a homework, that is the only homework that you're going to have, okay? Mañana vamos a ver gramática. Mañana empezamos con el present continuous, que ustedes ya lo conocen. Va a ser súper rapidito. Ya van a ver, pues, una actividad que les va a gustar con canciones. ¿Sí? Porque, eh, bueno, voy a hablar de eso mañana con ustedes. Pero mañana vamos a hacer esa actividad eh, de present continuous. Eh, el día miércoles vamos a hacer los quantifiers y el día jueves les vuelvo a repetir. Tienen que prepararse y estudiar porque aparte del examen final que van a hacer o que ya hicieron, ustedes van a tener un one on one conmigo, examen uno a uno. De todo lo que hemos aprendido, yo me voy a meter con ustedes solitos y voy a estar, ¿ok? Preguntarte cosas de todo lo que vimos. Sí, you have to get ready. Y desde ya les recuerdo, tienen que preparar un feedback de uno a dos minutos de lo que han aprendido o cómo se sintió durante el módulo. In English, of course. And that is going to be the homework for tomorrow, guys. Do you have any questions? Regarding the activity, 
¿Ya se tienen los números de las personitas con las que van a trabajar? No, ay, me imagino que José Mario y otros no se tienen, obvio. No son amigos. Fíjense que mañana los voy a separar y los voy a mandar a trabajar así, punta a punta, para que sufran. De verdad. Que maldad ya hace en su corazón. Ya. <risa> Ellos van a defender. Ya vi cuando les pasan la survey de mi trabajo, la teacher me separó de mi mejor amigo, cero. Y en el caso de Ale y Alfredo, me pusieron a trabajar con Alfredo todo el módulo, cero. <risa> oh, sí, chicos, porque otros no se quieren. Ya, ya les van a contar mañana eso que pasó. Ok, guys. So if you don't have any questions, that has been all. It was a pleasure to see you. Please keep working, doing your best. Y por favor, otra cosita, trátense de meter temprano a la clase. Acuérdense que aunque ustedes se metan 40 minutos de la clase, ustedes esos 20 minutos los van a haber perdido. Y cuando nosotros nos mandan la asistencia y hacemos el conteo de la asistencia, aunque ustedes se hayan conectado en todas las clases, pero si solo se metieron 40 minutos, 40 minutos, no les va a dar el conteo de la asistencia. ¿Ok? Recuerden eso, ¿sí? Porque ya me pasó como tres clases seguidas de que se me meten dos al principio y los demás aparecen media hora después. ¿Ok? No es regaño, pero es un reminder por ustedes, para que no se les pueda olvidar que esos minutitos always count. ¿Ok? So guys, hoy sí, yo los dejo tranquilos, vayan a cenar, vayan a disfrutar, un gusto haberlos visto, que tengan bonito inicio de semana y los veo el día de mañana. Y felicidades a los papás, por cierto, se me olvidó mandarles ese día el, el examen, el aviso. Pero felicidades a los papás de aquí, creo que Otto es el único papá, pero congratulations for you. Thank you. Ok, so guys, tengan feliz noche, take care, see you. Bye bye. See you, teacher. Bye.